forecast. Hey there, good morning. Radar has been pretty active, at least over the past 24 hours, especially if you've lived or if you do live in Three Rivers, George West, Beeville, you had some thunderstorms for a good part of the day yesterday. Meanwhile, most of the rest of the coastal bend enjoying a mix of sun and clouds and then throughout the afternoon, a lot of that was sunshine. But uh, this morning, just watching one little shower cross Highway 59 falling apart as it does. So Alice, you may get a little bit of drizzle out of this one, but I don't think it's really going to hold on for very long. The rest of the coastal bend nice and quiet this morning. But uh, while we look to a mainly dry forecast, for the bulk of today, we're going to talk about rain chances coming up right now. We're tracking some visibility issues out there. Reduced visibilities for a good portion of the coastal bend. I told you this would be fluctuating throughout the morning until we get past sunrise, and that's been the case. Uh, reduced visibility is inching closer to the coastline. NAS Corpus Christi reporting five miles of visibility, four in Port Aransas, but two and a half in Robstown and Alice Valfurias, less than one mile of visibility for you. So please take a little bit of extra time for your your commute head out a little bit earlier and use those low beams and fog lights. That'll help you get through it. So aside from that, a lot of this promoted by the fact that we don't have much for a breeze out there this morning. Wind speed staying at about 10 miles per hour or less. And uh, so as we get past sunrise again, that'll shake up and kind of clear out some of the haziness that we see. But still, we have an abundance of humidity. And this morning, it's making already warm temperatures feel even warmer for those coastal communities. 80 degrees, the reading at NAS Corpus Christi, but factoring in the humidity, it feels like 86 degrees to your body this morning. We don't have much of an issue uh, inland as we have less of an influence from those coastal waters. But yes, it feels very soupy out there once again. So what does that mean for your dog walking forecast? Well, today we're featuring a birthday boy here, Taz, celebrating the big one year mark. And I hope that party was great. The dog walking forecast shows that it's gonna be humid out there and warm, getting to 80 degrees by 9 a.m., 85 by noon. Thank goodness we'll have a bit of a breeze, 15 to 20 miles per hour by this afternoon to help keep things a little more uh, tolerable outside. But the humidity is going to stay a factor in our forecast through the rest of this week. Some fluctuations here and there, but those dew point temperatures will stay parked in the 70s, nearing 80s sometimes, making it feel oppressive. So a few things to know before you go. Mostly cloudy and humid for today. That means, for the most part, dry. But tonight we'll expect showers and storms to come back into the forecast. And we'll have daily rain chances. We don't have any fronts coming our way. No cold fronts to change this weather pattern. So it's more of the same. And we're keeping a close eye on that Mom's Day forecast for next weekend making those plans well let's hope that that forecast complies but yeah everything we see is related to the upper level forecast that has not changed much and it's breaking down a little bit but it's going to take a couple of days so this means that as we go through the rest of this week again we'll have those daily rain chances temperatures staying warm and humidity staying high